So now we've got this song. I'm just gonna play it straight to you how it is. I've reset everything to zero. I switched off all my effects and everything like that. So you can see you got one or two that but I muted them anyway, but let me just switch off these ones uh, as well. And I'm gonna play this song from the beginning. Uh, I'm also gonna leave a link as well where you can get uh, the, um, the VST plugins I'm using. I'm, I'm also using stock plugins for everything. It's just one or two third party plugins I like using in terms of my monitoring, such as spam and view meters and stuff like that because the ones uh, FL gives are not reliable, so I'd rather use my own one. So I'm gonna hit up the chorus of the song from bar 41 to 49. You can hear how it sounds like from uh, the chorus, basically. And we'll take it from there. Okay, let's go. Why you like it when I sound just like my I'm thinking, should I throw a Jamie up a tone? Or should I call Theo up for some juice? Okay, as you can see, when everything is just put on zero, it, it sounds bad. It's really loud. Everything's hitting at zero. My limiter is really working hard. Vocals aren't balanced and all that kind of stuff. So our job right now, the first thing you need to do is balance everything. So you got to put everything to its appropriate volume and all that kind of stuff. But then you'd ask me, Bongo, how do you do that? Well, let me tell you something. A VU meter, which is like my one of my best tools that I have over here, especially it helps me when I'm like uh, doing the foundation of my song because the speakers I'm using are quite small and they don't respond to bass so well. So then I use a VU meter to show me how much bass, bass frequency that the VU meter moves. For instance, it's really, really, really responsive to bass frequencies. I don't know how many times must I say that. So a smarter guy from me who also taught me this technique as well said that if you set your kick drum to minus three dB VU and you get your bass to play together, it will hit zero dB VU, meaning that they're equally in same volume, at the same volume, basically. Uh, VU has diff uh, VU has different meanings as well. It could be uh, volume units, it could be voltage units, it can be whatever. Um, just use it over there. The cool thing over here, there's also like a reference level that you can set up over here. So you can really like attenuate and uh, decide where you want your song to be. I like mixing relatively low at this uh, soft volume of minus 18 dB FS, uh, full scale, by the way. Difference kind of, you gotta know how your scaling's too, but anyway at full scale and uh, that way it's easier for, for, for me to bring it up later in, in mastering so nothing's really hitting my limiter, nothing's really uh, like uh, um, forcing my limiter to work or anything like that. So uh, let's just go in and find out where this kick is. Pop these niggas like I'm out hey, how you like it when I yeah, this Where's my kick? Alright, so I'm gonna go through my kick and I'm gonna go to the VU meter, I'm gonna detach this, which is already is, and I'm gonna set this to minus three uh, dBs, and let's see what we do. You can see it's already, it's already overloading over here, we don't want that, so let's uh, bring it down softer to get to minus three. So then let's get the bass as well, if I see it was over here. And we're gonna mix it together until it hits zero dB. One thing that you also have to remember is just to drop your track down into to mono over here, this mono separation button. It makes your life easier when it comes to, to, to mixing so you don't hear anything off whatever but all right let's mix this bass and get it together till it hits zero db vu so we're just gonna keep moving it until it gets there now it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be perfectly hitting at zero all the time obviously it's gonna move when you come without compressors and stuff like that that's where everything's gonna start being uh, merging together now that is done we can start building on top of that in terms of our percussive stuff. Now this is the part where you need to be using your ears to get right. So um, let's just go in and uh, mix in now.
okay, I'm happy with the level that I got right now. So I'm gonna slowly add in all the elements. Now, like I said, I'm using my ears. I'm using my gut to tell me where things should be. And I'm trying not to let uh, what you call them, everything to be in mono. So nothing's really lying to me. Everything's giving to me straight up as it is. Uh, so let's go, let's go and hit it, hear it out. All right, now you might be asking me, I keep referring to this uh, plugin over here. Remember, like I said, I have a lot of uh, secondary or third party plugins. This is Span that I'm using. It's uh, by Voxogen, 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 whatever the name is. And what they do is they, it just gives me a spectral analyzer so I can really see what's going on in here. You can also download this, this is a free plugin. I just recommend you guys just changing some of the settings so you can see uh, see a little bit better. For instance, I changed the smoothing to a third octave, the block size to over 4,000. Uh, so it just it's, it precise, it has more precise range and feel to it. And average time, I also changed to 6,000. So um, it's moving with you or, or it just looks better. Let me just say that. Um, now I wanna actually touch on the vocals. Another very important thing when it comes to like leveling and stuff like that, especially with vocals and all that, I use a lot of synths because I don't want to be working too much. I don't want to have, I have like four, uh, four to 18 vocal takes sometimes on a project, depending how big of the project is and everything. So I don't necessarily want to add a compressor or equalize and everything to each vocal. So to make my life easier, I make vocal sends by just a simple clicking over here. You follow the line and it goes to where you want to send the send to. You can send it anywhere you want. And then you make sections of your vocals. So all your main vocals are gonna go be processed exactly the same, you send them to that same uh, place. Or your backup vocals that's gonna be processed the same, they go to that same place and et cetera, and et cetera. So that way, um, number one, it saves you on processing power. Number two, it saves you on time because you don't wanna be dialing in your compressor and equalizer for a million and one vocals. We don't have time for that. So I've already, done that and moved all my vocals to each thing. I kind of forgot which one it goes to because I, I did this project a long time ago. Uh, but I'm gonna just um, play it and then add one vocal at a time and move it over there. So I'm gonna unmute these because these are my sins. Color code your things as well. It makes things a little bit easier. Another tip for you. So let's go in and just play the thing and see what we got. Pack my bags. Cups that nigga, I changed my act. Lack of support in it. Yeah, ain't stressed, nearly broke my back <laughs> New wish never in the devil's speaker right. This by no nigga, how to live up He had to hit the sack, he shot the feature Bar right, stuck on that trap, shit, he put my feet up yeah. Where all the girls with the big waistline <laughs> Shake it on, there's no baseline yeah. Ten years, baby, it's my time Stocks all the floor with a glass of wine Yeah, yeah. chance up, I study with my five to rhyme Tell Tim, but just double check the contract's yeah. fine Cause so, judging by the views, where we at again Back like case, I got the light and not another beer. I be tense by the spirit, I ain't got a fear. On the stage, on studio, he has a fella. 057, dog, I'm rapping Bella. Jamie Steen, only 20, I'm playing Papa Fella. With the looks and the flow, there's not a hotter fella. I'm a rock, there's no reason to lay la lella. No matter how they gate keep rockin' I let me pump these niggas like I'm out penna. And I sound just like my gash. Monate. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Throw a Jamie up a cone, or should I call Theo up for some juice? A couple shots to get me loose. The party never dies, the skillers in the mood. Five food and good food. I like the doers, we down the way, not the doo doo. I draw like all the girls. Doo doo. I'm guessed up, nigga. I'm a glue glue. How you like it when I sound just like me? One night, the house, the one night, the baby. One night, the house, the one night, the baby. OG has to love food, my crack. Only bread winners gon' feel it ever stand. Mama's baby, but I was born to be the man. Never had a degree, but I made my own spun. Always setting the pace, so I keep the streets run. But how you like it when I sound? Okay, now check it out now. Another tip. Like I'm always referring uh, referencing my uh my 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 sp- uh, spectral analyzer and stuff like that. It's okay when you're doing your gain staging and your basic gut mixing. I, I kind of do them I do them at the same time. Is that if it sounds bad per se or doesn't sound like a song yet, as long as you, you you're getting the idea, you're not really supposed to have too much bass at this moment. You're not supposed to have Everything is still supposed to sound raw. It's just leveling out, you know what I mean? It hasn't sounded like a song yet. And um, that's the um, the kicker of all this kind of stuff now. So now I'm still, I'm going to listen to this like from the beginning to end one more one last time and just see what I can just uh, adjust, either more kick, more bass, more uh, vocals and stuff like that, just to get it to gel together a little bit better. Not necessarily it's mixing it together. It's just that I'm hearing now, I want to hear what frequencies are, are colliding with each other if there's too little low end, too much low end, too much uh, mids and stuff like that. Now also with the vocals as well, why I I, I kind of also, how I mix is that I kind of put it behind the beat just a little bit because when everything comes in now with the com- uh, your compressors and stuff, it's going to really push everything out. It's going to sound bigger and wider and lo- obviously more louder than it is. So let's listen to the song one last time and then uh, work on this from there. I left the city, man, I packed my bags. Cops that nigga, I changed my act. I went like a support till he broke my back. Getting stressed till he broke my back. Knew it's never in the devil's speaker. Miss by no nigga, how to be. He had to hit like he shot the feature. Barry stuck on that trap, shit, he put the feature. Yeah, where all the girls with the big waistline. Shake it on, there's no baseline. Yeah, 10 years, baby, it's my time. Stocks I look for with a glass of wine. Yeah, chance up a study with my five to buy. Tell them, but just double check the contracts. Fine, good judging by the views where we got it. Give back the case, I got the light and not another beer. I'm enhanced by the spirit, I ain't got a fear. On the stage, on studio, he has a fella. 057 dog, I'm rapping Bella. Jamie Steen only 20, I'm playing Papa Fella. With the looks and the flow, there's not a hotter fella. I'm a rock, there's no beats until it's la lella. No matter how they get it, it's rock Bella. Now let me bump these niggas like I'm out Bella. Hey, how you like it when I sound just like my gash? How the hell I count all the way when you get that vibe? How the hell I count all the way when you get that vibe? I'm thinking, should I throw a Jamie up a phone? Or should I call Theo up for some juice? Top a shot to get me loose. The party never dies, the skillers in the mood. Five food and good food. I like the doers, we down the way, not the doo doo. I draw like all the girls. Doo doo. I'm guessed up, nigga. I'm a doo doo. Yeah, I'm pretty much happy with all this kind of stuff. Um. If you just keep going through it and like try to adjust your levels and everything for the song to sound like good 80%, 70 to 80% of the time, obviously there are some small inconsistencies like uh, the vocals aren't always at the same level all the time. Like for instance, uh, in the verses, the the vocals would drop a little bit and et cetera, et cetera. Those are, this is the time in the level, when you're doing your leveling, gain stage and all that kind of stuff, this is when you are noticing these things and now you want to start, uh, you start addressing them when you come into the next chapter where we will do some equalization and stuff like that. So I'll check you guys in the next one.